Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will look at the process to export different sections in GSTR1 to separate JSON files using Tally Prime. This gives you an opportunity to file GSTR1 e returns section wise. This small configuration in GSTR1 e returns in Tally Prime can be used by dealers who have chosen quarterly return and monthly payment scheme. As per this scheme, the dealers filing quarterly returns can choose to upload B2B transactions on monthly basis. An invoice furnishing facility is provided on GST portal to upload B2B transactions for each month of the quarter on or before 13th of the following month. And at the end of the quarter, Dealers can upload the details of other sections in GSTR1 for the whole quarter. Let us see how to export separate JSON files for each section in GSTR1 using Tally Prime and then upload them on the GST portal for filing e-return. The first step is exporting the JSON files for each section using Tally Prime. Open GSTR1. Press Alt G, type or select GSTR1 and press Enter. By default, the GSTR1 report opens for a quarter. If you want to generate e-return JSON files of B2B invoices and credit notes for a single month in a quarter, for example, February of this quarter, press F2 to change the period of the report. Enter the first and the last date of the required month in the from and to fields. You can now see GSTR1 for the required month of the quarter, which is February 2021. Now click export on the top menu and then click e-return. The export screen appears. In the file format field, select JSON data interchange. Now, set export separate files for each section to yes. If this option is not set to yes, e-returns for all sections in GSTR1 will be exported to a single JSON file. Enter the folder path. This will be the folder in which you want to generate the JSON files. Press enter and then click configure to change the export settings as per your requirement. After making changes, press Escape. Now, you can click Send or simply press E. As you can see, separate JSON files for each section are generated in the specified folder path. Similarly, you can generate the JSON files corresponding to other months of the quarter. Press Escape to get back to the report. The next step is to upload B2B invoice and credit note JSON files on the GST portal. Let us upload the files for the second month of the quarter, February 2021, that we just generated using Tally Prime. Open the GST portal on your browser. Click Login. Enter username, password and the captcha. Then click Login. Now click Return Dashboard. Select the financial year. Select the month under the period field. Click search. The different GST returns are displayed. Here you can see the optional invoice furnishing facility is provided under details of outward supplies of goods or services. Click prepare offline, which will enable you to upload the JSON files. Click choose file. Select the JSON file of B2B invoice registered corresponding to the month of February 2021 and press enter. Then click choose file again. Select the JSON file of B2B credit note registered corresponding to the month of February 2021. As you can see, both the files are uploaded. Click back to file returns. To view the uploaded details, click Prepare Online. You 
can see the values in B2B invoices section. Click the box with B2B invoices. As you can see, the information in the uploaded files is reflecting here. Click back. Similarly, you can click the box with credit debit notes registered to see the information from the uploaded files. Click preview to view the generated IFF for the month of February 2021. Similarly, you can upload JSON files of B2B invoice and credit note for the month of January 2021 and March 2021. And then you will have to upload JSON files of other sections for the whole quarter. To generate the JSON files of each section for the quarter, change duration in the GSTR1 report. Press F2, enter the from and to dates and press enter. You can now view the GSTR1 report for the whole quarter from January to March 2021. Click export and then e-return. The export screen appears. In the file format, select JSON data interchange. Ensure that the option export separate files for each section is set to yes. Press enter and then click send. As you can see, the JSON files for each section are generated in the specified folder path. You can log in to GST portal, select the financial year and period, click search. Click on prepare offline and upload respective section JSON files. After uploading each section, click back to file returns and preview the returns. Let us have a quick relook at the process. Step 1. Using Tally Prime, generate the section-wise JSON files for each month in a quarter. Step 2. Upload the JSON files related to B2B invoices and credit notes of registered dealers for each month before 13th of the following month on the GST portal. Step 3. In the third month, generate section-wise e-return files for the whole quarter using Tally Prime. Upload JSON files of all sections other than B2B invoices and credit notes corresponding to the whole quarter. As you can see, filing e-returns section-wise using JSON files generated from Tally Prime is very simple and enables dealers to handle invoice furnishing facility requirements. Thank you. For more information, visit help.tallysolutions.com.